Minecraft. Oh, he's in the nether. Oh, ah, uh, yes. He wants to get out of the nether. Oh, no. <laughs> Not so fast, mister. No. Oh, he's got half a heart, Josh. No way. Oh, every move you make matters right now, oh, pal. Oh, bro, this is, this is it. Do you have what it takes? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Gameologists. Welcome back to another episode of Luck or Skill, a gaming show where you send us your clips and we analyze that footage and we decide whether you are the god of skill with many masterful talents at your disposal like Kratos or whether you are the literal god of luck, Heish. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Because I didn't, till I Googled it. So last week, we almost had a flawless show of only skill. This week, can you guys pull that off? Or who knows? Maybe you're just gonna be pure lucky. Let's not waste any time and jump straight into this to find out. Battlefield Come one. on, soldier! Throw that nade. Show me what you got! Okay. Get in those trenches! Move, move, move! <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm really in character right oh, now, he, dude. He's in character, man. <laughs> Left, right, left, right, go, soldier, go! <laughs> oh, he's popping off. He's going. He's going. You think this war is done, soldier? No, sir. Oh, my face is red from screaming. <laughs> Bro, don't don't stop. He ain't stopping. You can't stop either. He's not stopping. No, let's go. He's 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 low key winning the war for us right now. Dude, get on your feet, soldier. Move. They say wars aren't or won by a single person, but uh, I'm starting to wonder, man. I don't know that there's a lot to say that on, on the side of luck in this one. You could say that the awareness of the enemies was at an all-time low, but they're in war. They're in war. It's in the heat of battle. Things get messy out there. I respect this shotgun clip because they're moving. I love the fast, aggressive gameplay. What's your verdict? Oh, that's skill, man. That's skill for me. What about you? We ended off last week with almost all skills. You came up just a little bit short yep. in the last one. This week, we're starting with more skill. Yeah. More skill. Everybody loves more skill. Everyone loves more skill. Okay. Oh, he's got the anime bullets. Ooh. So break it down for me, Josh. What are you seeing? I I'm seeing some disrespect about to happen. Yep. We got some disrespect. Yeah. We got a lot of disrespect. And I want to point yep. out that the person shooting the person's body, I believe, I lost the round. Yeah. So. That's not a good look. That is not a good look. But you know what? You know what's going to happen here, right? He's going to come back with a vengeance. Oh, you think so? Oh, for sure. Vengeance is about to be his right now. All right. Well, I, don't, I want you to take oh, this over. For 1v4. Play by, play by play. My dude, he's going on a 1v4. Kills a guy coming down. He's going to go pop through here. I, I don't know the call outs here. Uh, Evermore Hotel. <laughs> okay. He's in Evermore Hotel. Gets a second guy. Just chilling behind the corner there. Doing a little uh, peeking. Not going to go back to the bomb. Oh, oh. Someone's seen him. Someone's seen him. He tagged the guy. All right, they got they got the plant here, man. He's got to go in. He's got to go in for the the kill and get that defuse. There we go. Okay. Clean. I like it. I like it. Clean. Keep keep going, Josh. Keep going. All right, he's he's going back. He's checking all the spots, man. Real really quick plays here, man. You got to be really really on top of your game awareness, super keen eye, super sharp senses. Oh, he's gonna go down from the balcony. Yes, there we go. Pops in right on the guy. Unlucky on the other guy, and he's gonna go in. After clutching a 1v4 for the defuse to win the game. Is he going to show any disrespect? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's going to be better than that. Maybe not. Maybe he's, maybe he's going to show a little disrespect. No, you see? Because he's better than that, man. He, his skill is... Yep, exactly. Mic dropped. His skill says it all. He doesn't need to shoot dead bodies. <laughs> that was well done, dude. The way that I saw him play that, I don't know. I didn't really respect it. I think the last kill was lucky. Like, he just jumped off the balcony and that guy was there. He had no idea the guy was there. But I also think that player showed that they know how to play. They know how to check their corners. They know how to check their spots and all that. Yeah, I think he's legitimately filth. Human filth. Tell me why. Because A, he's using an anime gun. <laughs> B, he's wearing an optic skin. And C, because it's me. It's me. <laughs> No, no, seriously. No, I know. It was me. It was you? The clip was mine. No. No. <laughs> yeah. That's why you yeah. gave it to me. <laughs> That's why you gave it to me. You could tell that the player, in this case it was you, knows what they're doing. You know, they know to check the spots. <laughs> they know exactly, you know. Uh, how to play and uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm I'm giving you a skill and and that's that man I know I'm no bias no bias. I mean if it wasn't you I would have still given it a skill 
I appreciate that. So since it is me, I'm gonna be a little bit harsher on myself okay. and I'm gonna give myself a scluff. Okay. I feel like I absolutely played these guys like a fiddle as you deserve after shooting my body. Don't shoot my body. Okay. I got lucky with the fact that the first guy that I killed had the bomb and dropped it. Yeah. And then everything else was just kind of reacting off of audio cues and just knowing where they plant the bomb and you know them being at the right place for me at the wrong time for them. So I'm going Skluck for me. Just because of that first initial factor changed the entire outcome of it. Okay, man, I, I respect that, for sure. And I did win the game, just so we know. I did win the game. It was a close one, but I did win. This is how me and my friend deal with toxic players. Look at the mini map. I love the get ups. So they're chasing each other no. around the house? <laughs> no. Yeah. no, no, look at the mini map. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm seeing? Like they're spinning circles around the house, no? No, look at the mini map. I'm look at the red the dot and where they are. Yeah. They're staying perfectly away from him. Yeah. Because the enemy's trying to chase them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's trying to chase them around the house, like, like a merry-go-round. Oh yeah, this is like when you piss off a friend and you're at the dinner at the dinner table and oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't advise you do that to your friend. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. And then just like that ending. Boom. <laughs> you spent all that time chasing them only to die to that. Oh, my God. They said this is how they deal with toxic players. What were they doing to be toxic? Because from my POV, as much as I love it, I mean, you're kind of low-key the toxic one. I'm not sold on luck or skill on this one yet. I don't know, like, what's lucky about it, though. They played this guy like a fiddle. Yeah, I wouldn't be this hard to, like, stay away from him. But it is it is so entertaining to watch. I'm not even looking at the person running. I'm just watching the minimap the entire time. I don't think it's necessarily hard to do. Now, the ending finish was very skillful. I want to give that one a skill, personally, man. Especially the ender. You know, the way that ended was just like, kaboom. All right, so you say skill, right? Yeah. I think I agree. Only because of, like you said, that very ending sequence. The rest of it was just good entertainment and good fun. But the end was skill. You have 14 builds left. It's like Care Bears. This one team? So it's like, it's a 4v1. But they're trying, they're trying, but, they're trying to ax him. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to style on him. Yeah. No Which, let me just say, I, I want to say this. The person's POV that we are watching clearly knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't, my judgment, I already know what I'm going to say for this. My judgment. Yeah, same. The last guy absolutely whiffed. Because he was like, oh no, the rest of my team just died. I'm the last one. Let me get my team to Vic Roy. There is a lot of luck in this, but then you could also tell that the player has skill. My thing is like, do you go for the side of complete luck or do you give them a little credibility on the side of skill and give them a skluck? You know what I mean? If they were trying to kill you with you guns- You would have been dead. Before they started trying to pickaxe him, he was down to 51 HP. Before they started just bum rushing him, he was down to 51 HP with I believe only two minis in his inventory. So he had a max of 101 HP at any given point, which is almost nothing in Fortnite. Like at this point, he should already be dead. I mean, he hit some really good shots, but once again, he probably doesn't even have that opportunity if they weren't axing him. I want to give it a skluck so bad, uh, but I just, I know. I don't know if I can. I agree with you, Luck. It pains me a little bit to say that because yeah. I do think the player is good, but just the circumstance, you just, nah. How about three headshots less than a second? Ooh, okay, can we get an actual timer on this? Okay. That'd be great. I'm gonna do my timer. Ready? And go. Was that less than a second? Oh, I don't know, man. I think that was like two seconds. It was real quick though. See, the accuracy is great. There's no lucky elements, right? The aiming in these games low-key suck. It is hard to be very accurate in these types of games with the controller. I don't know what it is, but it's very clunky. So I want to say it looked like he was trying to collat. Yeah, I did. The first two and then go over to the right. The collat didn't work, but he still followed up with another headshot, and then the swipe drag headshot on the third guy. Yeah, it was clean. I gotta give that a skill for me personally. No, you're right. It was a very clean play, and uh, I'm gonna go skill two. World record. I'm ready for this. Well, I like the guy on the left, he's shiny. I have no idea what's going on right now. I just know he is thooming. Bro, that was quick. 
That was mad quick. It was a world record. I would hope it would be. Yo, 12 seconds and nine milliseconds. My goodness. Booming. I've never attempted something like this. Like this is like ultimate speed run. Why does he keep throwing Cappy? Does it boost you a little bit further? It give you like a sprint or something? Yeah, maybe. I, don't, I never noticed, honestly, personally. You see how he's like spam throwing it right yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it probably does. That's probably the strat. It gives you a little bit of a, a little nudge forward. Seems to be like, I guess, some mechanics that maybe I'm not fully aware of. Like, like throwing Cappy constantly that maybe give you a little bit of a nudge forward. It was still a really smooth run. Because if you're not aware of it, I'm sure as hell not aware of the mechanic. I'm pretty sure it does give you a little bit of a nudge forward, but all that to say, I mean, it was a really smooth run. There's no luck in this. I don't see where luck would have been involved in this. You gotta know what you're doing to pull off this kind of, you know, record. Yeah, but my thing is, like you said, I don't know the ins and outs of this game. I don't think I've ever even played the game or seen the game. This might be my first time seeing the game. I don't even know. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plead the fifth and let the Nintendo guy take all the heat. I'll take the heat. Um, Better choose wisely. I am going to definitely give it skill because it was a very smooth run that not everybody can do. This. Like not everybody can pull off this kind of record, this kind of time. Is it the most like technical Super Mario Odyssey clip we've seen? No, but it's still skill. It is a world record. It is a world record, and there's still a lot of skill involved to yep. pull that off and that smooth thing. And world records aren't on accident no. at all. No, exactly. There's no luck in this. I love seeing these kind of speed runs and stuff, you know? I respect that answer. I'm just not going to give my own. Okay, that's fair. This guy really thought he was going to clutch the knife round. I mean, right now, it low key looks like he might. Oh, got him with the ball. Sorry! And that ball He really did think he was going to win it. In the blink of an eye, he didn't. <laughs> Poor guy. I love that there's a face cam to see the reaction in this. Yeah, that makes it that much better. Just baits him. He took him right to where he wanted him to go. Right to leading a lamb to the slaughter. That was beautiful. That was a cheeky play. Yeah, I feel bad for the other guy. I think everybody that's been in gaming or started a new game, for me right now, it's Rocket League. And when you face somebody that is just head and shoulders above you on skill, you get put in your place from time to time. Yep. Yeah, that was one of those moments. It very demoralizing. <laughs> it sure was, man. He got baited. And the fact that we do see the face cam, we, we can see like he's not surprised by what he pulled off. No, I think he's done this before. He knew exactly where he wanted to take him. I love it. <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah, I give that skill. Yeah, me too. That's a skill, man. I love it. <gasps> My game, dude. I've been addicted. Oh, man. How has this game been out for so long and I've barely played it? Oh, nice. Nice. The title man. of the clip was, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty proud of this. Yeah. And you should be. I couldn't do this right now. Absolutely not. Dribbling it on the sidewall into a nice little shot that ends with a goal. Look at that. You dribble that ball home. Boom. That's so nice. I know that there's probably some people that play Rocket League a lot, and they probably think this might be more routine. Yeah. But for me, I've been playing it, I think, like three or four days. It's completely brand new to me. The walls, and specifically trying to hit the ball off of boosting off of the wall, is got to be one of the most frustrating things ever. I can't figure it out, man. It's hard, bro. So for somebody to be able to do that and then have the awareness to air dribble the ball. See, I'm picking up on terminology. What's good? And then just flick it with the nose of the car at the perfect angle at an upper goal. That's beautiful. Yeah. I have so much more respect for Rocket League clips now that I've started playing it. Because they were always beautiful. It's not easy. No, it's not. I've tried to pull stuff off like this. If the normal player, okay, cannot do it, that I don't care if it's routine for like the good players, it still takes a level of skill. If it didn't take a level of skill, me and you could do it. Easy, but we can't. Rocket League is one of the very few games that it is so apparently clear of the skill gap the moment you hop in it. I mean, for me, that's skill. And I'm assuming you're going with luck, but I mean, I, I gotta go with skill, bro. That's well done. Yeah. That's class. Isn't that, that what they say? Yeah. Isn't that what they say in soccer? Oh, Ooh, I see what you're excited about. Daddy like turkey. <laughs> Let me take her away, man. Take, M1A. Take it away. Hopefully you got M61 or M62 in there. Maybe M993. He's got a, a Reaper on here too. It's ridiculously expensive and ridiculously overpowered. Okay. I want to take a prediction. Okay. As I paused it right here, I want to take a prediction. So he was in Unlock Cottage. Yeah. He's on Shoreline. 
Okay. You have no idea what any of this means, no. but I'm explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> He's on a map called Shoreline. There's cottages somewhat in the middle of the map, sort of, kind of, not really. And there's two of them. One is unlocked, so anybody can get into it. One of them you need a key. So he has ventured into the lock cottage and he hears people inside. I've already heard it. The fact that there are is at least one person, probably more in here. My guess is going to be there's a staircase right off to the right over here. When he rounds the corner, I guarantee there's going to be at least one guy peeking. Okay. Because that's how rats love to play. Okay. They sit and wait in the shadows. And if he's smart because he's turned off his night vision and they have on night vision, they're going to literally see Tarkov Jesus flash before their eyes and then they're going to die. It's going to die. Okay. Are you ready? Prediction. I'm ready. What'd I tell you? And there's more. Oh, there's more. There's three. Oh, man. Beautiful shots. Beautiful shots. That was clean. That was nice. That was clean. That was very nice, man. Tarkov squad wipes are some of the most satisfying things ever. Just watching that, I was like, yo, let's go. The Reaper is a thermal site. It is a pain in the to use up close. So the fact that he's using that and deciding to go CQB with it is a little ballsy. I'll be honest. He's not playing to his advantage. In that sense, it requires more skill to pull this off then, right? Mm-hmm. Because he, he's not like he has a site that he can ADS down. Based off of what you explained and what I've what I seen, I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind this is skill, dude. Let me also say this. If you guys are wondering why didn't the other team shoot back at him, if they have on NVGs and he has what looks like one, maybe two flashlights attached, he might only have one. That's super bright. It's super bright even if you don't have NVGs on. So if you do have NVGs, you are blind. You will not be able to see anything. These guys weren't exactly lightly geared. The second guy, I believe, has a killer armor and a airframe, it looks like. That's a high tier armor. Level five, not level six, but it will tank some good bullets. So these guys had good gear is what I'm trying to say. And they weren't exactly little Timmies that didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. They had fully modded out guns. These guys knew what they were doing, but they met the perfect hard counter to their night vision. And that is a flashlight. <laughs> Skill! Skill! More Tarkov, please! Situations like this one make my anxiety issues worse. Minecraft. Oh, he's in the nether. Oh, ah, uh, yes. He wants to get out of the nether. Oh, no. <laughs> Not so fast, mister. No. Oh, he's got half a heart, Josh. No way. Oh, every move you make matters right now, oh, pal. Oh, bro, this is, this is it. Do you have what it takes? Oh, my goodness. One little bit and you're done for. Use your flint and steel. Come on, hurry up. Light it. Light it up. Get I'm out of here. Oh, dude. Oh, wow! Oh, that, man, that had me holding my breath. Analyze, luck or skill, go! I don't think there's anything lucky. Like, that was down to the wire. You had your adrenaline pumping at that point. You don't want to lose all your crowd, that's for sure. You don't want to die. I think the one thing that helps make this clip a little bit more obvious in terms of luck or skill is if he made any kind of mistake, he would die. Exactly. We would all see the mistake in the form of his loop piling over his body. Yeah. There was no room for error whatsoever in this. So it's like, I got to call it skill. Like that was impressive work to stay alive. When he redirected the gas yep. projectile, that was the best thing. After the gas sees him just absolutely wipe out the rest of the mobs. He's like, nah, this guy's too legit. I'm out. Okay, so you said skill, right? Yeah, skill. Okay, yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. Okay. Oh, he really did bait his teammate, didn't he? <laughs> Oh my lord. Oh man. Do you realize that if you wouldn't have baited him, you'd have an extra teammate to help you in this fight? He's like, I don't need it. I'm good. I'm good. Op four, last stop standing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, come on. Mm. Just, just finish it off. It's a 1v1. For the bread. For the bread and for the butter. Let's go. Let's see it. They've taken zero damage in this. Oh. Well. Oh, he really did bait his teammate, didn't he? Oh, my lord. Do you realize that if you wouldn't have baited him, you'd have an extra teammate to help you in this fight? He's like, I don't need it. I'm good. Those last shots were not clean. No, they weren't. I was gonna we're say. not clean. And you were probably going to lose that fight. You're probably going to die. I'm going to be honest. I'm giving this one luck. Yeah? If you didn't bait your teammate, then you would have another person to help you watch an angle and help you win gunfight. And then you sat in the same corner <laughs> yeah. and let another person run at you. And then you decide, I'm gonna move up the stairs into a person that's already pre-aiming me. Those were good shots on him, but that person still whiffed. And then I'm gonna absolutely 
you know, with my aim on the last person and get an incredibly lucky final kill. Luck. I was definitely not going to give it a skill. I know he baited his teammate. Oh, man. Hard. He baited him hard. Oh, man. But still, man, those first, what was it, three kills? There's still a level of skill in there. On the fourth kill, you ran up a staircase where somebody was already looking at you, and then they whiffed. And then you whiffed on the last guy and got so lucky with killing the last person because you were not going to win that gunfight. Ah, I'm going to go with Skluck on this one. I'm going to go with Skluck. I'll give it a little bit of skill, but a lot of luck. I know most people do this, but... But what? It's a really popular car, huh? It, yeah, seems to be, man. Oh, okay. It probably has the most aerial and oh. abilities to do tricks, as we just see. Oh, was that really intentional? Part of me feels like that was like chance, man. But part of me is like, I want to give the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. It's almost too crazy to even say that it was on accident. <laughs> I know, that's the thing, right? But then if it was on accident, that makes it incredibly lucky. Exactly. That is making this clip extremely difficult. I don't know the mechanics of this car. It flies, dude. That's all you need to know. Once he was flying, it looked like that was just like, almost like he lost control in the air and it just so happened to do that. But then again, that's extremely lucky if so. But he also landed on four wheels, so. See what I mean? This is tough. If this was something that's intentional that a lot of people do, then I would say then, yeah, for sure, I guess it's skill. Otherwise, I would give it luck. I think I have an idea for this. So we all know that we have luck, skill, or skluck. But there's a lot of times where we just don't know. Like, legitimately, I don't know, and I do not feel comfortable at all saying whether this is luck, skill, or skluck at all. So what I propose we do, open it up for a community vote. Tell us. And let the people down in the comments decide. If you're going to tell us luck or skill or skluck, let us know why. 35,000 kills on Octane teaches you a lot about movement. Good shots. Okay. Oh, Ooh. boy. That was clever. Did you see what, what they did there? I think. Play, play I up. believe they grabbed a, a new armor. Okay, yeah. So that it replenishes. That was actually really clever. Bro, this movement is super, super smooth. Oh, it's so fluid. Like, I'm legitimately being mesmerized by the movement. This is so unbelievably clean. Bro, that was so good. That was insane. One thing I want to say, it kind of adds more to the player's defense than anything, is when you play Octane, when you inject his go-go juice, I don't know what else to really call it, you actually lose health whenever you hit it. And so he was already extremely low health, extremely low health, and he used that to get himself a speed boost. So you lose health, but also get a speed boost whenever you hit it. Right, yeah. I mean, it's ballsy when you're that low health to use that, hopefully take less damage by your movement. I mean, that whole clip was so clean. Flawless, man, it was fluid, it was smooth, it was butter. I don't know what else From to say. In the very beginning, like he even grabbed the banner at the very beginning with an enemy right there and then absolutely smokes them. I will say he is a little lucky that the other person didn't have the best shots, but I mean, when you're moving like that. I mean, come on, what do you expect, bro? I don't know what to say to that, except the fact that this was 100% skill in my opinion. I loved it. It was so satisfying. Not convinced? I wouldn't say I'm not convinced. I'm just trying to think of any way this could be luck. Because there is some things that I mean he's a little bit lucky on. He didn't get absolutely melted by this first person. And this play right here was so smart. But once again, he's also lucky he didn't get melted. But he was smart enough to pick up the armor so that he, he had enough HP to be able to survive the fight. And then from there, it's see you fudging later, folks. He gets healed up. And then the other guy's like, okay, I'm not trying to mess with this guy. And then he just gets dropped on. <laughs> and dead before he even realizes what is going on. Oh, that's great. And, oh, I didn't even notice this. It's in ranked. Hmm, yeah. That makes it even more impressive. Okay, I agree. That's that's a skill for me. Wouldn't have it any other way, man. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. He's there. Oh. Oh. Oh, that poor guy. No chance. <laughs> Nope. I landed, I landed, I landed. Hop on, come Smart. on. Smart, go pick go pick up your boy. Come on. Get that X fill going. Ooh. Oh. That's smart, because now there's no way up to them. How else are you gonna get up there? You don't have a helicopter. We do. <laughs> Thanks for your buddy's stuff, huh? Yeah, 
Later. Go, go, go. Fly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love the passion in the comms, dude. Yeah, same. He said, fly, 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 but higher. Higher, higher. Are you all right? <laughs> and then that deep breath moment. We actually freaking did it. You got to give him some skill for teamwork, too. Also, though, what is that guy doing? I don't know. I haven't played a lot of Rust, but I can tell by the way they got the hell out of there and by the way they're reacting right here that this sniper rifle is a very rare and very good and very powerful. Because they legitimately killed this guy, saw that he had an L96 and said, All right, we're just going to leave. I don't care about the rest of the people here. Later. Thanks for your stuff. Rust is obviously an open world game. Multiple different people on a single server. People that you don't know. You can definitely make enemies in Rust, and it happens a lot with people on servers. And so my guess would be this guy built a tower to snipe from. My other guess would be that he also happened to take out somebody in this group. And so they regrouped and enacted revenge. That sounds plausible, man. And they said, you want to snipe me? Well, I'll just come fly a helicopter over and take the sniper from you. Thank you. He got absolutely blasted. I think it was really well executed. I love the ending, though. When they go back to fly. Fly, 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 but higher. <laughs> I want to give them a skill. Why was that guy so clueless? They f flew right at him. It's not like that's not anything you can't hear. Yeah. And even in the clip of the title, it said, quite fortunate. For that, I think I'm going to go Skluck. But I, I love the story that I created. Hopefully, it is true. But my final verdict is Skluck. All right. Oh, is this going to be one of those where he just pops off and then the final kill cam is just some guy, like, getting one or two kills? Yep. That stuff happens all the time, dude. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Like, you're gassing yourself up like this guy. Like, he's just popping off, killing one after another after another. Yeah. Oh, man. These are some what does this man got to do to get play of the game, Call of Duty? These are some clean kills, too, man. Like, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Got the chopper gunner. Look at that. Time limit reached. Okay. He's not going to get it. He's not, he's not going to get it. There's no shot. <laughs> it's going to be some stupid play of the game. Right? One. Two. Sick! That's a play of the game? Come on, man. Just bring back final kill cam. And then you can have people trying to style on people for the very end of the game. Great idea in theory, but I think this clip proves that it didn't come to fruition very well. If the system worked properly, it would be dope. So are we judging his skills or are we judging Call of Duty's skill in picking the right clip of the game? Call of Duty's skill on picking the right play of the game, um, it's, it's horrible. It's not even lucky. It just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But on the player's side of things, bro, that play, I like it. It was smooth. I don't think there was a lot of luck. I mean, there was a lot of kills there. Knew what he, were do what he was doing. Peeking back and forth. Maybe he was still, you know, chilling in the same area, but... He was tactically holding down an area. And yeah. let me also say, I'm not as mad about it or mad at all about it because he's playing headquarters and he's playing the objective. When you're playing the objective, that makes sense. In a game mode like that, I definitely understand. It's not like he's sitting in his spawn in a corner, nowhere around the objective, just hoping for people to run by him. It was tactical, and uh, I don't see any luck in there. I'm going to give it a skill. How about you? We've come up with a lot of new things and since the inception of the show. You know, with Skluck, we just had our first community vote. I'm going to make up another one. Okay. That, I mean, I don't think this one will fit in a lot of different places, but I'm just going to call this player unlucky. Okay because of the fact that he put in all that work and then he just didn't get his recognition. That's truly unlucky. I don't think we need to make an animation for that, but <laughs> it's a great way to describe this clip for me. So this week we had a lot of great clips, a lot more variety than last week, a lot more luck, a lot more uh, skill and a little bit of skluck. Michael, what was your favorite clip of the week? I'm sure a lot of people are watching this right now going, he's gonna choose his own clip. And as much as I hate that you think of me so little, it was a nasty clip. Give me some credit, but I'm not going to choose my own clip. It's a little bit narcissistic. But I had other clips that I enjoyed. The Apex Octane clip and the CSGO little bunny hop clip. And even the Tarkov clip was good. But I think I got to go with the Octane clip. I've chosen so many Apex clips, man. Okay. But that whole sequence of events was just so smooth. Yeah. From the decision making to the movement and the shots included, it was just... 
it was just a perfect package for me to call this my favorite clip this week. What about you? I think this week is going to be what the second time I think this has happened. I am also going with that Octane clip because it was nice, buttery smooth. It was so satisfying to watch. And my goodness, man, it was just nuts overall. I loved it. Again, there was, there was a lot of great clips, yours included. Yeah, I was just say, you didn't want to choose mine, bro. What's up? I did like it, but man, that Octane clip, man, it did something yeah. for me. So, absolutely, absolutely. Gotta go with that one. All right, so that is going to wrap it up on another beautiful episode of Luck or Skill. I appreciate every single one of you taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch us be idiots on the internet. Now, do me a favor and make sure to leave a like before you guys go. And if you guys aren't already, Gameology is on the rise to the moon, baby. 1.1 million subscribers and counting. And don't you want to be a part of that movement? I am, and I hope you do as well. And then once you do that, make sure to hop on over to Facebook, like, and follow them there as well. Thank you guys again. Stay awesome. Stay yourself. And we'll see you in the next one, Gameologists. Peace. See you later. Let us know. Call 555 Luck or Skill. Not a real number. Please don't call it. Actually, I think we're getting a call right now. Um, hello? Yeah, this is Billy Joel. I, I think I think it's uh I think the guy meant to do it. This is where I call for luck or skill. Yeah, this is luck or skill. I think that guy lucky as hell, man.